what has happened? This is the first week of the Ghislaine Maxwell trial, and we're going to get into so many things about it. But first, can one of you just tell us what has happened so far in the trial? Uh, well, I can tell you that, you know, yesterday they did opening statements and basically Ghislaine's um, uh, attorneys argued that she was just the scapegoat, that um, powerful men do what powerful men want to do. And women are always the ones that end up taking the blame. And they kind of pin they kind of turned her into a victim from what we understand. Um, and then today, the pilot that was the pilot of the private plane actually testified and did drop some names. I was really surprised because I didn't expect actually to hear really any powerful names dropped in this court case. It was kind of like, you know, they've almost done everything they could to not have any of the powerful names brought up. Um, any of the victims that are that are pointing the finger at the powerful names, they're not included in this in this trial. And so I was surprised, but the pilot did say that um, they were asking a bunch of, uh, they were dropping a lot of names at the pilot. Did you see this person on the plane? Did you see this person on the plane? And the big ones are, of course, Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, and uh, Prince Andrew. And there were some others that were that were dropped. But the pilot said that he didn't see any sexual activity on the plane, that he never saw any what he perceived to be young women. You know, he thought that they were all over the age of 20. Um, and that's kind of really what's happened, I think, so far. But maybe Garland has more info. Well, you know, actually, I was going to take a, a completely different angle on this, if you guys don't mind, mm -hmm. a completely different angle. And here's the angle. I, to be quite frank, don't have confidence that this trial is on the up and up. And I'll tell you why. You know, we talk about Ghislaine, Ghislaine Maxwell. We talk about Epstein and we talk about the the, the people who perpetrated the um, uh, clearly what appears to be crimes against young women and crimes involving female trafficking, et cetera. But, but what happens if you talk about the other side of it, right? What happens if you look at Ghislaine Maxwell and you recognize that her father was named Robert Maxwell? There was a book written about Robert Maxwell and the name of the book was Robert Maxwell, Israeli Super Spy. And you realize that her sisters, Isabel and Christina, were both connected to Israeli intelligence and the CIA. They worked. I mean, if you start digging into the Maxwell family, you don't have to get too many shovels full of dirt before you realize that espionage was a family trade craft. And that being that being said, when you look at Epstein and you realize, well, this guy was a quote financier, but how did he make his money? Nobody knows. He worked with this guy, Lex, West, Lex Wexner, but nobody knows all of this money that he spent and appeared to have, but he didn't have some kind of a job or he didn't trade. Where does money come from? A mysterious place. And then even when it gets to what happened to Epstein, here he is in some kind of a super max type jail that nobody could get into and the cameras shut off and suddenly the guards fall fall asleep and he commits suicide in a odd and strange kind of way. And add one more thing, because, you know, I was an investigator. I was former um, uh, commander of the investigations division for police department. And I'm just throwing breadcrumbs together. And then you look at it and you're like, when I put all of that stuff together and add one more thing, when he was prosecuted for what seems to be significant crimes in Florida, and he got barely a slap on the hand. And Alex Acosta, a former official in the Trump administration, when he was asked about it, he said, I was told Epstein is intelligence. Leave him alone. Now, I mean, granted, I'm not Sherlock Holmes. But I can put enough breadcrumbs together to figure that out. And I think you, you, it, it becomes blatantly obvious that this was an intelligence operation that we're talking about. And in the same way that Jeffrey Epstein was involved in significant criminal activity involving uh, uh, the things that he was involved in, and they slapped him on the hand in Florida until it got so obvious that they couldn't hide it anymore. And he had an unfortunate and untimely demise in the same way that Ghislaine Maxwell's father had an unfortunate and untimely demise. I'll just put it like this. I'll end by saying this. If this is miscreant behavior by sexual deviance, then the story is one thing. But if it is an intelligence operation that is involved in miscreant behavior and sexual deviancy for intelligence operations worldwide, we have a whole different conversation now, don't we? If she gets a slap on the hand, which I suspect, uh, you got to 
there's there's some obvious conclusions that present themselves. You don't have to search for them. And at that, I mean, think about that, how, I mean, where is the media looking into the, these things that people, you know, discuss? I mean, the media is, we don't have any investigative journalists that work for the New York Times or the, or the, or CNN any, anymore that would look at that and scratch their head and say, wow, hmm, this is, this is odd. Perhaps I should dig a, li a little bit further. They put the, the, the paradigm that's put forward is that this is a, criminal act this is criminal activity and sexual deviance um that involved um super wealthy people it's almost like they want to push it in the direction of the pizzagate people so the pizzagate people will bite into it and say see i told you so and then they can say you see those pizzagate right. people are crazy which they kind of really are but and th therefore you kind of snuff out the whole thing and we don't dig deeper to the point where people will start asking questions that, you know. Uh, although I, I do feel like on this case, quite mm. a few people have actually dug into the fact that, uh, and insinuated um, in the mainstream media even, that this that he was clearly likely working intelligence for Mossad. I mean, I, I feel like that was implied <laughs> by an, by several people. I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong on that. I mean, I certainly did early on connect. I mean, I did a, a whole piece that connected all of those dots showing that he was likely, you know, because we don't know where his money came from and it was very odd and it was, and we know that Galen Max, Galen Maxwell's uh, dad was Mossad or at least, you know, allegedly Mossad, but you know, all of Mossad and the, and the uh, prime minister of Israel showed up to his funeral yeah, and said, right. he did more for Israel than you will ever know. <laughs> yeah. You know, so he's like wink, wink. dropping a lot literally, of hits. Literally, yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. I think, I, I felt like there was a lot of people you know, it, that it's not as pizza gate ish, right? For people to point at Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell and, and the entire um, Israeli Mossad uh, likelihood possibility, simply because, you know, he, they were obviously targeting powerful people in politics more particularly than anywhere. So they could have gotten a lot of people that were just rich and famous or you know, there was a lot of things they could have done or a lot of people they could have gone after, but they really seemed to to gather a roster of people who are somehow in politics or connected to government around in all of these very powerful uh, countries that Israel would need. Um, but, you know, of course, they didn't go further than that with it because we can't prove any of it. There's no way to prove that. Yeah, and there's a lot of weird stuff going on with the trial itself. Like, for example, the fact that even though um, there's very prominent victims of Epstein who've been spoken out, there's true crime documentaries about them on ABC News. Most of those witnesses that people know about and have heard from are not actually being called. Right. Those victims, excuse me, are not being called at this trial for a uh, Glenn, uh, they're just focusing on her as opposed to the women who say they were abused by Alan Dershowitz and Chris Andrew. They're not being tied or brought in as witnesses at all in this case, which is just baffling. It, there is no explanation for why that would happen. Yeah, they're really not wanting to. I, I maybe it is. You know, I, I, okay. If we were just like to not be conspiratorial at all, but just be like, okay, let's just look at it from, you know, just a completely logic, a non-conspiratorial point point of view. I would suppose that you'd say, well, because they have no evidence. You know, this is the thing: is they have no direct evidence that they're able to link, you know, Bill Clinton or or Trump or. Um, you know, all of Prince Andrew or Bill Richardson or all of these people that have been implicated in this. Alan Dershowitz, they don't have any, they, all they have is like a he said, she said, I suppose. Um, and it, they probably would want a lot more evidence before bringing up and imp implicating people like that. Or at least if they're going to bring up people in a court case, they would need to be able to bring up people that they could then have a case against, possibly. Right. And like, if they can't do that, then it's kind of like, you know, you're potentially dragging innocent people's names through 
and dragging their, you know, dragging their names through the mud. I, I don't think Alan Dershowitz. I, I don't think, and they have the videos too. Like there's so much evidence that's just yeah, not that being is. brought up. Like there, we know that there are videotapes with, you know, famous and powerful people with some of uh, the women, and that's it's own. The trial right. is just Jelaine. This is supposed to be an international. A uh, pedophile ring with some of the most powerful and rich people in the world, and the only person people have to be in charge are Jeffrey Epstein and his girlfriend. That right. doesn't make any sense right. at all. 